안녕하십니까? Nicolas Inida and today I want to share with you four of the newest JavaScript features that were just released this month. These features are from the ECMAScript 2022 or ES2022 standard, which is the latest JavaScript specification released. First, we have the top level await. Before, if we wanted to use await, we had to do it inside of an async function. That was the rule. With ES2022, that rule is gone. And now we can use await in our modules without having to use async functions. So instead of doing something like this, we can now just do something like this. It looks so much better now. Next, we have error cost. With error cause, we can create better error messages by explaining what the cause of the error was. Before, when creating an error, all we could do was write an error message. But now we can explain what caused the error by doing something like this. The error cause allows us to specify exactly what went wrong, but it also makes it possible to reuse the same error message, but specify a different cause. And to access the cause of the error, just like we do error.message, we can now do error.cause. Next, we have that at. That at allows us to access any index of an array. Now, I know we could do this before. All we had to do was use the square brackets. But the difference between square brackets and that at is that with that at, we can also search backwards. I can use that at with minus one and that will give me the last item. It will search backwards from the end to the start of the array. To finish up, we have class fields, which makes JavaScript finally feel like a grown-up professional language to do object-oriented programming with. Now, classes in JavaScript can have private methods and properties, which was something that wasn't possible before. They can also have static methods, and we don't have to use constructor to initialize properties, which again was something that wasn't possible before. Now, let's take a look at these features one by one. To make a private method or property, all we have to do is put the hashtag sign before their name. Here we have a private method. Now, if we try to call it, as you can see, it won't work because it's private. It is the same with properties. Here we are creating a message class with a private text property. And as you can also see, we are not using constructor at all. Before, we could not have created a private property and we would have had to use constructor to initialize a property. As you can see now, the code looks so much better. Finally, we can also create static methods. Before, we would have to do something like this. Now, all we have to do is this. And if we want to, we can make it private as well. These are not all the features from the ES2022 specification, but these are the ones that I wanted to share with you. If you like this content and you want to support the channel and myself, please leave a like and subscribe. Just two clicks is free for you, but it helps me a lot. And what is also for free are our JavaScript, React, React Native, TypeScript, and GraphQL courses, among many, many others. So please, if you want to become a developer and you want to do it for free with me, please click the link below and I will see you there. Stay healthy, stay happy. Eat kimchi, kamsamida, sananheyo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.